Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. tavern with a hot grog or two the grim faraway lands here we finally are the last time playing banishers the After ghosts of new eden sail, i've been looking forward to this game quite a lot 
no such place. It is supposed to be a narrative-driven action RPG with some heavy or difficult choices and big consequences. Have I mentioned? I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Loot. Come on. Looks steady enough. The graphics are looking really good. Let's skip this. Watch out! Let's Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. And I assume we are going to get a taste of the combat now that we are separated. Attack and heavy attack. Can you attack, please? Thank you. Been all right down there. Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside, or are they keeping them in? Whoever. Oh, okay, come on. Give me a slide. Oh, wait. Time to leave for good. Call this a fight. Banished. We gotta parry, people. Nice. Come on. Pretty generous, actually. Hmm. And mm, a note, damp and bloody. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date, I cannot say. I know it's the month of June in the year 1695. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again, and the golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you, run. These people left the <coughs> Eden town just a few days ago. No, I'm good. What exactly is going on here? Badly for the case. Situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Charles. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Not a good sign. 
Like, looks good. It's a pretty game. Isn't that what selectmen do? When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. Passing for Jericho, the Harrow's Hamlet. New Eden Town. Oh, welcome. This must be the inn. I see shinies. Take. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Or as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is gold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thick Skin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. So since this is a narrative driven Sitting game, there's going to be a lot of talking and cutscenes. I'll the see how much of it I keep in Surely and with their whatever I cut we may and what prevail. I cut. <coughs> then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service... Yous may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <coughs> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Could your physicians not save him? Would that we had a physician left, but it would have made no difference. Charles was dead when we found him, and we do not know how or why. One or two among our company have knowledge of the physic. Purples, they said, rupture, strangery, or sadness, guesses, all. 
As a man of science in New Eden, I stand alone. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the mm. pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. What can you okay. tell me about Let's the hear curse? about this curse. I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increments. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that. I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Good. Thank you. Bye. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Now we can go and talk to the widow. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. 
Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends, but that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions, but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. Mm -hmm. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the okay. unknown, but his passion seems <clears throat> less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin knew Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so, too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Okay. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. Let's continue this. There's been a lot of cutscenes so far, which is fine. May I be of any help? No, uh, stay put. We'll find the way. You have unlocked your first hint. It contains important information about the person it is linked to. You can reference refer to scenes at any time and enter haunting cases menu. Haunting cases. So I have gotten a hint. After seeing her husband's ghost grinning below Esther, at, uh, Davenport was deeply distressed. Okay. So here you can learn different things about. You can have get hints. And. Maybe some intent if she did something wrong. We can learn something about Charles. So now we have to search the house. Let's check out Charles's office. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back. A ghastly figure. In Where do nightmares come from? So this is something that Charles wrote about where nightmares are coming from I'm sorry I'm not going to read every it's single unbearable. thing a silver brooch habitually worn by Charles Davenport engraved with a distinctive three hilted sword nice Charles always wore this brooch his things are untouched nothing's moved Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Hmm. A recipe for a sleep uh, potion. 
unsent letter to Esther's sister. My dearest sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I would not attend the burial. I could not attend the burial. The shame of it. How I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died. There to see him buried. Lord have mercy for us and guide our friends to us before it's too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I, th but I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. Esther. Okay, so now I have two hints, and Esther Davenport did not completely bid her husband farewell, and now suffers from it. So we have now learned that because she didn't attend the Therefore, funeral, she has not been able to let her husband Esther go, never got to which is making well her suffer, and probably what is uh, tying made the manifest. Uh, Maybe. Charles but there has to, to, be more to it. this house. When I say my bed shall be, and I shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my compla complaints. Then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifies me through visions, so that my soul chooses strangling, and death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. Ooh. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions, foreshadowing, or someone behind this? Who is the real target and what causes this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep's no longer, sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot perdu perdure. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? So now we got a hint on Charles. He was uh, worried about the influence the threatening spirit had on the settlers' dreams. Charles's ghost might give us answers. We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. Okay. Are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. Ask around, see what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye, you too. To find the location of your next objective, open your map. There we go. New Eden is pretty big, looks good. 
there's also a shop but we will go to the cemetery first or we will actually pass the shop because we're going this way a wisp so close to town the cemetery is closed oh I don't think so where are you leading me? More of you? Come on. It is up. Very generous. Perry. Ooh, ouch. Yeah. No one is safe here. But then again, I do take a lot of damage, so I think. Hard. It's looking like a good difficulty right now. I can't help but loot. As a bandage room, you can feel the place. You can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura. Walk around to find the source. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Okay, so it's glowing here, so there should be... Oh, the wisp! Wisp, 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 wisp. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. So I need more pyrite and seashore candles. Seashore candle this. and pyrite will do the trick for the ritual. Okay, I got the ingredients. Let's do the ritual. Banishers can perform rituals. The, uh, the nature of the site determines which ritual should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources, even if you are, even if you select incorrect rituals. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Ooh. Hello! Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell! No ties! No purpose! No. But neither do you. She has a really familiar voice. I need to know who the voice actress is. Oh. book. Charles's Bible, found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's open on job 713 to 15. Yeah, and this is what I read in the house. This tie, this tie is doused with the essence of Charles's ghost. After a closure performance by Anthea, the bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. So now we have 
The item needed to the tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. So now we if can I summon can him. His grave. There we oh. go. Here you are. And I assume we use a make manifest ritual that will force a ghost or specter to appear. Because he is not a scourge, I believe. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And I am here at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. Mm. If I allow you, which I do not. And here, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. Do you know how this curse began? I don't know how this curse began. What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre, and just as relentless. How did this nightmare kill you? I believe that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws spectres to it and sours the weather. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. When it appeared to me, I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. She was... Laugh. I felt her gaze. 
My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend. You are not mentor. above the law, sir. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your dear. Wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose herself. No. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Okay, so we are letting him ascend? Instead save of banishing him. Friends, and save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya gave him the care he needed. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I'm glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Okay. Let's meet Red at our lodge and we will start a new day.
you did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? That I wasn't don't know. Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport. Our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Other than that. The dead have no business with the living. Letting go is hard. Even for the dead. Dies bind fast. And we are paid to cut the knot. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you wouldn't they? You're a scruffy headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never This is some go. foreshadowing Over going on here. Body, if you've seen the trailer, you know what happened. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a, what did he call it? A nightmare. I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. Let's fight we'll it! Sleep. Come on! Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. One of them cares about the living, the other about the dead. Antea? She took her fire bane. She says I'm the reckless one. Mm-hmm. And now we try uh, the game as red. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, are you? Yeah. Blind. All blind. Oh, Red, can't you see? We never stood a chance. Antea, you hot? Where are you? It's a nightmare, Red. Come on. I'm here, my love. What happened? Or not. <laughs> I'm here, my love. How mundane. Show yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, 
Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Mm, yes. It was an illusion. Will you slay the righteous? The Lord, I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where's Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's lady. If you hurt her, you cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Oh, <laughs> That's a good character model. Yeah, now we fight. Woo! He will suffer like I do. Okay. Only wish to speak with you. You? I've already spent my healing items. <laughs> Oopsies. We blind my I will skip this. Betrayal. I believe you fail again. There's no need to fight. Nope. Missed it. I dodged it. There's no need to fight. 
Jeez, no, come on, there are four of them. Heal! Come on, dude. You can't reach me. Banish, banish, banish. But there are more health bars. But I thought. Oh, okay, it's a cutscene. She wins in the cutscene. Come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your manner, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. <laughs> Come to her aid now when all is lost. If you do, I'll be waiting. Whoa. So, Antea killed by the nightmare. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. She tricked us. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Mm. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go. Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. 
Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but... I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but... But do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, and answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? <sighs> of course it matters. Means you're alive, and you haven't given up. Okay. Can we get some more information about the nightmare? This nightmare. How it spoke. How it tore right through. I've never seen the like of it. Few have. Fewer have lived to tell of it. What drew such a powerful spirit here? Who knows? Something awful, I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. My friend said that. Mm. He's trying to warn us. An immutable law. You have wise friends. Who sent you? Her name is Ceridian. And my hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. Seredin, this little seeker who asked you to find me, is she Scots or something? It's Seredin. She's too old to be from anywhere in particular, and while, yes, I found you, she told me where to look. Hmm. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. This isn't what I want. Not like this. Not without her. No one gets what they want. You get what comes. And if you survive, you get changed by it. You have a hole in you. A yawning. Grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Yes, we will. Why'd you pull me from the water? What's your business with me? I have no business with you. But my mistress does. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your that ghosts, Red McCoy. Well said. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever, my mistress said you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Oh, to Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if... or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again, then. That's right, Banisher. Now... Turn around. What? I'm leaving. What the hell? That is strange.
now we are ready to search for revenge. I will end this first episode here. So far, it the story is intriguing. The combat is, I is good, I think. I just need to get a better feeling for the parry timings. And I think this should be okay. Banisher, if you read this, it means that you have enough brain to know your alphabet. You have not resisted going through what I left. You cannot resist going through what I have left behind. You may take whatever you deem useful, since my mistress wants you to live. We shall meet soon enough until then be well. Okay. If you want to see me continue this journey in Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden, consider subscribing. And maybe I will see you in the next episode.